Hey, what's up, YouTube? TMZ1313 here. Today, I just want to show you guys this kilowatt meter. Um, it's a nice little tool to have simply because when you're powering stuff off a generator or inverter, you need to know the exact wattage of what stuff uses. All right, so this thing will uh, tell you. Now, you can get this at Harbor Freight for like 30 bucks, um, or you go on Amazon and get it for 15 bucks. So I highly suggest getting it off of Amazon. Plus, this one looks a lot neater than the um, than the Harbor Freight one. So, um, this particular one could go up to 1,500 watts or 15 amps. Um, and it tells you basically everything you need to know about what's being plugged in. Right now, I have a 60-watt light bulb plugged into this lamp to give me light. I just want to show you guys on how accurate it is um, since we got like a little base of 60 watts it's normally one or two watts off so let's go to the function and see all the different parameters that we can check out so it's showing the power factor at 0.99 which is pretty good um, the amps is 0.5 so half an amp and then up here is the time since, it's, uh, since I turned it on uh, this is showing a watt low of 4 watts. And this is showing a watt high of 64 watts. Um, this is a kilowatt or cost of kilowatt hours. This is my wattage. So I'm at 62.9 watts off this 60 watt uh, 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 light. It's also showing me my kilowatt hours that I'm using. So I use 0 .003 kilowatt hours. All right, so since we got a little base model, let's uh, plug in a little bit something a little bit more, um, a little bit more uh, powerful. I'm gonna plug in my toaster. I'm just gonna re I just reset it. Now I have a toaster here. Um, this toaster does say it is a total of. Let's see if we can see it. 14 and or 1480 watts so it's really close to the limit of this so uh, I'm guessing that's for two two of the uh, toasters being used so let's turn it on and let's see what we're using here so I'm gonna turn one on there we go so we're using about 760 watts for one side of the toaster um, let's look so as you can tell our kilowatt hour is going pretty fast because you know you're using 700 watts for a toaster um, this is the voltage that we're at the uh, Hertz we're using 6.2 amps at power factor of 1 which ain't bad so our low is 360 watts our high is 763 now this is a good thing to have uh, with a high and low wattage because like um, say you plug in your fridge you could have this plugged in with your fridge and it will tell you the the wattage that um, peaks um, and things with uh, like refrigerators they have a high startup watts and then they run a little bit lower so it's good to know like if you want to power your fridge it's good to know what exactly watts you need to start it all right so let's turn on the other one let's get back to the watts so we're at 745 watts let's turn on the other one 1480 look at that that's almost perfect um amounts of watts so we're using 1480 watts basically um our kilowatt hours is going up really fast as you can tell voltage is at 119 our amps is 12.26 amps with a power factor of 0.96. Uh, excuse me, no dropping water on the floor. Sorry about that. My kids are playing in the water. Um, that's not too good of a power factor. So watt is low, watt is high, 1480. And we're using 1462, so not bad. So yeah, this is a good thing to have. Um, it's a good thing to have if you if you're gonna be in solar 
or uh, if you want to make sure that the thing that you're using isn't going to overpower something or it's good to have to know um, how much a certain appliance is costing you a month because it will calculate the cost I don't know I never really used it but um, I think you can change the uh, the pricing and stuff but yeah so um, it's good to have all right guys thanks for watching subscribe check out all my other videos and I'll see you guys later